What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy B with Real Recognize Real, and it only gets realer from here. And in today's topic, we'll be discussing do February Pisces and March Pisces share the same qualities? And I'm going to break it down for y'all. But first, I want to put a disclaimer out that this information I'm about to give y'all may or may not apply. So just take what does and feel free in the comments below and let me guys know what your experience was being a March Pisces versus a February Pisces and how did it go? I would like to know. Also, I want to thank all of you that took the time out to support the channel. Thank you. And those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell notification to be notified of my upcoming videos and content. And we're going to jump right in. Pisces and March Pisces share the same qualities. Well, hold that thought. First off, I want to give a shout out to all my fellow Pisces out there. Gang, gang, you already know we in the build done. And also, I want to give a shout out to all my two twos, my two two twos, my three three threes, my three threes, and my two one nines. We in the build done. Now, getting back to the topic. We got February Pisces and March Pisces. And as you know, if you're a Pisces, your birthday falls between February 19th through March 20th. Now, unfortunately, there is a big difference between February Pisces and March Pisces. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. So it goes a little something like this. Both signs have the same when it comes to intuition. But... March Pisces tends to feel more in tuned and tends to use the intuition a little bit more than the February Pisces. Now, with February Pisces, they do have a little Aquarian energy with the sign of being Pisces. In February and March has a little bit of Aries energy because it's closest to April and as I said before, February is closest to February, as you guys know, of the Aquarius energy. So when it comes to boundaries, the February Pisces is going to struggle with setting boundaries with a person, place or thing, a situation. And March Pisces likes to set boundaries. And we're referring, like I said before, to the Aries being the next sign from Pisces in that month of March going into April. So you're gonna find a little bit more directness when it comes to March Pisces. It's gonna be a lot more ruthless and um, direct type of energy with the March Pisces. Whereas February Pisces is a little bit more laid back, a little more detached doesn't really like to get involved in too many things, likes to kind of keep everything low profile and low key. But the same token, they're both are Pisces. They both carry the same energy. They both tend to go from within, except March Pisces is a little bit more in tune and likes to make decisions off being with the real and like doesn't want to really play around with too many friendships as the Pisces in February would like to do. So when it comes to these two signs being the same sign, you can find more recklessness in the March Pisces. March Pisces is going to be a, a little bit more cutthroat than February Pisces. In the comments below, let me know if this is true for you guys or any experiences that you guys may have dealt with or each other being a February Pisces and a March Pisces. Also, when it comes to Pisces on meeting a, another Pisces in a person, place, or thing, a situation, there's going to be a magnet, magnetic uh, situation or connection between the two signs. You guys are both going to witness and see some type of special 
like magical connection going on with each other as if you guys both see each other in the mirror and it's like a reflection that is being set forth with these two signs meeting each other so if you're a pisces woman and you meet a pisces male regardless if you are february pisces or a marsh pisces you're going to be captivated by that Pisces man because you're going to feel like you're looking directly into a mirror and you're going to actually be scared at first sight. You're going to get a little nervous because you're going to feel like that Pisces look at you through your uh, through your soul and as if that Pisces can see, see right through you. And that's going to make the Pisces woman nervous when she first encounters another Pisces being a Pisces male. Now getting back on topic, so we got the February Pisces and the March Pisces. They're going to operate on different scales, which there's going to be a lot more low-keyness, more detached energy coming from a February Pisces versus March Pisces is going to be more direct, more in tune, more uh, wanting to just deal with the people that it knows, whereas February Pisces is going to be more social. And being lo low-key and laid back, that February Pisces is going to be a little bit more social, wanting to um, have a lot of friendships or just giving people more uh, time and more patience, whereas March Pisces is a little bit more toxic. Not always in a bad way, but just toxic as in not wanting to conform to the reality of things or how things must go or the traditional way. Now, you can find a lot of March Pisces having beef with February Pisces simply because February Pisces do not respect boundaries. I've seen this firsthand on numerous occasions and I actually had a fight with a February Pisces at one of my older jobs at a grocery store and I can give you guys an example of how it went down. So it was this guy that I was uh, working with. I had it been about 18 years old. And this guy was just all in my way, all in my space, just being reckless, very, very uh, goofy, just silly, wanting in, to impress everybody. And I didn't even know he was a Pisces. I just knew it was something weird about him that he was always uh, going beyond his uh, boundaries, not respecting my boundaries so one day i went to the bathroom and this gentleman approached me and he uh he told me if i said something to him or looked at him funny he was gone with my ass so unfortunately i didn't take that situation lightly so i grabbed him threw threw you know threw him against the wall and you know told him that um whatever he thought this wasn't that so instantly i pretty much let him know the rundown kept it real with him and he didn't want no problems after that because i had to literally show him better than i could tell him so when i snatched him up we didn't have no problems after that and he didn't want none so I, like i said this could be the same for you guys in the comments below let me know if you ever encountered another um pisces and if it went for the uh worse or for the best sometimes you dealing with your own sign doesn't mean you're gonna always get along sometimes you could bump heads more than other signs sometimes some pisces it just irks the other pisces it just uh, um level of boundaries that that pisces may have set and if you cross those boundaries it could be consequences and repercussions so just know that I'm not making this video to have Pisces warring with other Pisces just to give you guys a breakdown that February Pisces are a little different from March Pisces and the element doesn't change. And when it comes to intuition, a lot of February Pisces do not like to just go with that alone. Sometimes February Pisces likes to roam around, likes to be a little bit more um outgoing and adventurous about situations wants to go through life with an experience uh setting versus an intuition setting if that makes sense this is why 
it kind of uh, carries on a little bit of that Aquarian energy and really doesn't want to conform to a certain way of, of doing things because it still has that rebellious type of um, uh, style of doing things. So that is more portrayed in your February Pisces, but with March Pisces part, Pisces with that are born in March, a little bit more direct, more uh, stubborn, um, tends to bump heads with more people than usual because of the Pisces being headstrong and bold about how it feels or what it thinks. And sometimes, like me myself being a, a March 6 Pisces, I tend to tell people the truth and they don't like to hear it, but I'm I'm not afraid to bump heads with people or just to bring about a greater cause or to bring the truth, no matter the risk that it comes with. And that's that Aries energy is that not really being passive or being impulsive about what it feels or what it thinks and basically trying to project project that onto others no matter what the risk is just knowing that we must keep it real and that that is pretty much your march pisces now like i said before when you first meet a pisces being a pisces you're going to feel like you're looking directly into a mirror you're not really going to feel comfortable but this is not always a bad thing, Pisces. I understand uh, Pisces women, when you meet a Pisces man, don't don't act like you've seen a ghost and run the other way. Because this is why these two signs tend to not really work, even though it's a very, very rare and compatible sign with other Pisces. Now, this is going to be in my next video. But right now, I just wanted to break down February Pisces versus March Pisces and the similarities and the different uh, qualities that these two uh, signs share and what they don't share. But I wanted to explain that when you see another Pisces, you're going to you're going to know something is different, but you're not going to be able to put your finger on it. But sometimes you feel like that Pisces, you know, all your dirty, dark secrets and vice versa. And this is what causes the Pisces woman to just run to take off because she's going to act like she's seen a ghost because she's going to feel like the type of stare that a Pisces gives off, just like a Scorpio, it kind of looks deep within your soul where it kind of knows you. And sometimes Pisces women, they don't want a person to know them, if especially that they haven't shared anything about them with you. So they kind of want to like get to know you and to share those things. But if they're not given a chance to, when they feel like you can read them or figure them out, Pisces woman going to swim the other direction. But I'm going to break that down to y'all in the next video. But I hope I answer most of the questions that you guys had regarding Pisces and Pisces. So just know that these two signs are different. And I will say that March Pisces is a little bit more toxic in a good way than February Pisces. But March Pisces do have a little bit more self-control and are more mature. Now, in the comments below, let me guys let me guys know. Let me know if you disagree or agree with this because it's important. Because you guys are in the same boat that I'm in, and we all are a school of fish, and it is what it is. And keep it real. So, like I said, it's nothing wrong with either sign. Just know that one or the other is going to give off different uh, styles of personalities and conduct itself in a such in a certain type of way that might throw the other Pisces off, especially if one is secretive and the other is not secretive. One thing about Pisces is that when it comes to storytelling, is February Pisces don't like to really share much in a, a open uh, scenery with others, but March Pisces doesn't mind sharing as long as they feel that it's necessary. And anything that you may have done to a Pisces or share some things that they didn't want out to others, a Pisces might just do that because they feel that they need to be on even playing ground and they don't want you to be disrespecting them or telling secrets that they didn't want to get out so they'll just do it on purpose just to even the score 
But this concludes my video. Thanks for watching. Peace out and God bless. Real recognize real. Real recognize real. Real recognize real.